So we have just finished naming ionic bonds and it's time to name the covalent bonds. Now the only difference between ionic bonds and covalent bonds is that in covalent bonds, the cation and anion are both non-metals. So let's get into it. For example, if you have here CO2, how can we name this? So we'll just name it normally. C stands for carbon. So you'll write here carbon and O stands for oxygen. But what will you do? You will take the root, which is ox, and you will add I, D, E. Now this is the normal naming. It doesn't work when we have a non-metal and a non-metal. So how can you name this? So in this case, we will use prefixes. These here are the list of prefixes which we will use. Now because we have here two of oxygen, it means that we will use the prefix di before the oxygen so we'll have here dioxide and because we have here one carbon it means that we have mono one but we will never use the prefix mono in the cation this will be the name of the compound now let's try this one out how can we name this so we have here p this is called phosphorus so we will name it as it is phosphorus and we have here o this is called oxygen, but because it is in the cation, we will take the root ox and we will add I, D, E. Now, how many phosphorus do we have? We have three of the phosphorus. So we will call this triphosphorus. And how many oxygen do we have? We have five. So we will call this penta because penta stands for five. So finally, our name will be triphosphorus pentoxide. Now because we have here two voils, A and O, we will cancel out the first voil. So finally, finally, the name will be triphosphorus pentoxide.